Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you I am your host, Salasi Fiawe. We're going to hear today from Mohamed Salisu, who made his debut uh, for his club side since signing for them in August. The Ghanaian signed uh, from relegated Southampton uh, for AS Monaco. Joined them, had an injury issue that kept him out all the way from August to December. Ninth, yesterday he made his debut for them in what was a 2 1 victory over Ren. He spoke after the game. We'll hear what he has to say. Inaki Williams was also on target, but his game was abandoned after 17 minutes. We'll tell you why that was, and just a pain. So, also on target for Geng. As usual, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And click on the notification bell. To get more updates we'll jump right into it and talk first of all about uh, Inaki Williams' goal uh, today after just six minutes he found the back of the net for his club side athletic Bilbao they played Granada but the game was abandoned after 17 minutes when a fan had a cardiac arrest it had to be abandoned because there were several attempts to revive the fan but he eventually passed away the game was suspended initially before it was abandoned it was 1-0 and Inyaki Williams had scored his seventh goal I think his eighth goal of the season a 10 goal involvement this season it was unfortunate how it ended there but Inyaki was on target for his club side sad sad news on that front for the fan who unfortunately passed away at the stadium cardiac arrest incident in the stands and rightly so the game was abandoned and uh, it was not continued discontinued game there and it's just right that that was done because uh, i don't know how the game would have been enjoyed or how the players would have continued after such an incident it was a sad one and the uh, right decision was made in my opinion uh, let me know what you think as mohammed salis who spoke after his uh, uh, debut for AS Monaco, the 2 1 victory uh, versus Stad Ren, Mohamed Salisu had this to say. Let's listen to him after his sides a uh, win and his debut for them. I'm very happy to make my debut, honestly. It's been a long time I didn't play, and um, today I, I got the chance to play 19 minutes. I'm very proud of myself, and I'm very happy from the journey, you know. It's been a difficult journey, but at the end, um, I made my debut today, so I'm very happy. Yeah, for me, it's an amazing feeling. You know, everyone was, you know, was was um, happy for me. I'm very grateful for for everyone here. All right, thank you. So he saw and heard him there. Excited to be back. Uh, good to have his time on the pitch once again after so much time out. As I said yesterday, I don't think they would risk him for the African Cup of Nations. Anything is possible and probably they will need insurance uh, as to how they will manage him in the Ghana national team. So uh, if those assurances can be given, I'm sure uh, that he could be released uh, for the Ghana Black Stars team. And uh, yesterday I brought you the update on the uh, venue where Ghana will be camping, their hotel. That is, they'll be sharing the same hotel with the Nigeria Super Eagles, all in Group A and B, uh, Ghana in Group B, Nigeria in Group A, and uh, they will be in the same hotel. Great to see things and how they unfold there. Great to have him back on the pitch, Mohamed Salisu, that is. I'll end with the news on Geng Command said Painso. The Ghana International delivered an outstanding performance for Geng after he helped them secure victory over Cass Upen in the Belgian Pro League. The Black Stars winger started and played 81 minutes as his outfit cruised to a 3-1 away win over Upen on Sunday. Nigeria International Colin Saul broke the deadlock for Geng uh, before the halftime break, after connecting uh, from uh, Brian Hainan's pass, the visitors went to recess with the advantage. After the break, the Ghanaian international registered his name on the score sheet in the 56th minute to double his side's lead after being set up uh, by Belal Hell Canos. The home team pulled one back uh, through Regan Charles Cook in the 65th minute uh, before. It was sealed for the visitors in stoppage time after connecting with Christopher Bam Bonsu's pass. The Ghanaian's youngster made a substitute appearance to help Gang secure victory. He replaced his compatriot Joseph Painto and delivered and made a good account of himself by assisting his side's third goal. Joseph Painto 
has scored four goals and provided four assists in 17 games in the Belgian Pro League this season. Continue from where he left off last season, which could have earned him a big money move out of a gang. It did not happen. There were clubs interested, and moves did not go through. And uh, that is how things ended on that front. And that is how I'll end today. After Kumasi Asante Kotoko uh, got one over Accra Hat to Folk, 3 2 it ended in the Super Clash over the weekend. Great weekend for the Porcupines. And they got one over their rivals. Fans would be excited, as you can see, have seen already on social media and the pictures that I've been making the rounds. Kumasi Asante Kotoko fans have the bragging rights here. Hat to Folk. Uh, will be left licking their wounds. So that has been it for today. Talking to you about the Nyaki William finding the back of the net in unfortunate circumstances. His game was abandoned. There's a painful on target for his club side. And also uh, talking to you about Mohamed Salis who spoke after he made his debut for AS Monaco. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend.